Does having parents with diverse backgrounds make you smarter? A new study in the journal Nature shows height and intelligence are linked to greater genetic diversity. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Morning, Charlie. Are you excited by this story? Yeah, it's a very interesting study because they looked at across hundreds of studies, so 350,000 people, and they put them into two buckets. They looked at the genetics of the parents, and when they were similar, they put them into one bucket, and when they were dissimilar, another bucket. And then they looked at their children, their offspring. And what they noted is that when parents were similar genetically, the, the children were slightly shorter and did slightly worse on some of the cognitive function studies. So a difference, yet on all the health benefits or the health effects, there was really no effect. Cholesterol, heart disease, diabetes, no dramatic difference between the two groups. So different than we thought. Why is that, Dr. Yeah, Agus? Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's certainly interesting. As you think about it, evolution, you know, Darwin described this 200 years ago, selects out for who has better children and for who does functions that were necessary over the last million years. Well, dominantly, that's hunting. So cognitive function, that is finding your way back from hunting. And also taller means you could run quicker and get away from prey. And those were the facts that were actually selected for. Diseases like heart disease, diabetes, et cetera, happened after childbearing age. So we didn't actually f select for them through evolution. It's a pretty interesting study that tells us a lot, because this is really the first mm -hmm. couple generations where people of different backgrounds are having children. And if this happens in one, one generation, children are 1.2 centimeters shorter. Think of it if this continues to happen. So yeah. taller and smarter well, than Taller and smarter, isn't it? Because, you know, you're, you're a doctor, um, David Agus. But <laughs> I, I, mean, we've no, I know, we've known, though, that especially if you have a single gene mutation, you know, if you, if you mate with someone who is of a similar background, you're likely to have children who may continue to pass on those genetic uh, mutations and, and diseases. So, like, for a 60 Minutes piece I did, they said the best matchup I did a spit test was with a Peruvian man so to wean out some of the genetic disorders that I have to have a, yeah. but we, so we knew that about disease. Are you saying what's interesting is that now this affects intelligence and other things? Yeah, no question about it. Is that, you know, yes, yeah, certain dominant diseases, if you marry your brother, your sister, your cousin, it's mm -hmm. not a good thing. Yeah. But yeah. You know, Darwin actually married his cousin. But when you look across the big gener uh, uh, many generations here, we're affecting height and cognitive function. So it's something really to be aware of and we have to study as we go forward. And as the world is flat, people are changing. All right. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you, Dr. David Agus. So Thank diverse you. backgrounds, guys. So Charlie, if we had a child, <laughs> they would be taller and scary smart. What do you think about that? I'll let you mull it over. I'll let you, you don't have to answer now.